morning, Blenders, and happy Monday, April 7th to all of you. Welcome, Sally. Oh, boy. Let's get this Monday started. I know. It was a good weekend, though. Was it? I it know was. you were in Phoenix. I was in Phoenix. It was hot, but we, <laughs> Greg, my husband was in town. And where did we hike? I can never say it. Piestua Peak. Piestua Peak. And I am telling you, that is the biggest Stairmaster I have ever been <laughs> on my life. It was just constantly a stair, a stair, a stair, yeah. a stair for like two hours. Yeah. I mean, it's a tough one. It is. My calves, however, are not thanking me today. They still hurt. <laughs> well, we did absolutely no working out. We just did a marathon of Breaking Bad. Well, see, and you're totally like five years into behind. that. And let tell the viewers <laughs> what season you're on already, and you just started this weekend. Uh, we're already into season three. Yeah. Season three already. <laughs> for, and it's, we're only two weeks, you know, we've only right. been watching it for two weeks. Right. But anyway, so, you know, you watch marathon shows, you watch movies. Yes. You typically snap on really bad things. So I started looking on the internet today for healthy snacks. Ooh. In case we're sitting in front of a long TV <laughs> series or something. Like Breaking Bad. And I actually found some really interesting snacks mm -hmm. that, you know, you always, you always just get so bored. Yeah, you do. With what you can put together to shove in your mouth while you're watching something. And so I just, there's this list on MSN Healthy Living, and I just picked three out for you. Okay. Okay. So, I love healthy snacks. So a hard-boiled egg. Mm-hmm. Sounds kind of blah. But with sriracha sauce, so the egg itself helps your thyroid function, which is the gland that uh, manages your growth and mm -hmm. metabolism. So that's low calorie, low fat. And then the sriracha sauce actually contains capsaicin, which is a compound in chili peppers that helps burn calories and fat. Oh, well, there you have it. So but I hate you, hot sauce. I know. You don't like spicy stuff. So I think I would do barbecue sauce, a hard boiled egg and barbecue <laughs> sauce. But see, I bet you barbecue sauce has a lot of sugar. Oh, it probably so does. So just, there's a healthy aspect to the sriracha sauce. Oh, okay. Um, oh, we're sticking with the healthy thing. Yeah. <laughs> Look at me just try to de-healthy guys at, like that. <laughs> so another one is turkey jerky with mustard. Okay. Now the turkey jerky is 10 grams of protein and only 60 calories. And since it digests, it takes longer to yep. digest, it actually burns calories while it's digesting for you. Now the mustard is just for flavor. There's no healthy aspect oh, to them. I actually just <laughs> like eating turkey, what is it called? Turkey, turkey jerky. jerky. Yeah, yeah, just by itself. The mustard is low calorie, though, low fat. I so. could skip the mustard. I don't like that either. Okay. <laughs> I, okay, this last one's going to be a good idea for you. I no, they're all a good idea. I'm just not, I mean, hot sauce, I'm like, <laughs> I need a glass of milk. Okay. So watermelon oh, drizzled I with balsamic. Ooh. Because not only is the melon 90% water and only has 45 calories, the balsamic activates pepsin, which is a digestive enzyme that breaks down proteins into amino acids. Oh, well, see, and I, I love jicama. I'm like on this yeah. huge jicama kick, which is very healthy, but no flavor. And Sally and Allison are like, how do you eat this stuff? It tastes Flame. like nothing. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, but I think it's the art of eating. So maybe drizzle, drizzle some balsamic That's what it. I was thinking. And I have dark chocolate balsamic. Wow. So there you have it. Jicama or watermelon with dark chocolate balsamic. Yeah, that's a good idea. We're just starting a new trend left and right today, Sally. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, for good. real. <laughs> well, real quickly, so when I was in Phoenix, as you guys know, in Scottsdale, it was spring break, so college kids are everywhere. Yeah. And if there was one thing that I could not get enough of seeing was selfies. And there's all this information coming out now on whether or not selfies are actually good for you or if it leads to like narcissism and possibly a mental disorder <laughs> because you're so obsessed with taking these perfect selfies all the time and then people get really depressed when they post them on Facebook or Instagram and no Nobody one comments. But also you see people you can't just take one. Exactly. That's you know, you what I'm saying. You take one, you check it, take it again. Actually, we did that on the, at the softball game on Saturday night with my nieces. Yes. And see, and that's the problem. That's what everyone keeps doing is like, Ch -ch -ch, not good enough, Ch -ch -ch, not good enough, Ch -ch -ch, right. not good enough. So I was going around. I made it my duty when I was in Scottsdale to take selfies for people. I was like, let me just take it for you. Oh, how fun. And that way everybody's in the photo. You improved their psyche. I did. Exactly. <laughs> No mental disorders flying around Scottsdale anymore. Right. <laughs> well, as always, we love showing our amazing viewers on the big screen, and today's photo of the day is no exception. And of course, photo of the day is sponsored by BuddiesDeals.com. Now, Chris sent us this picture his wife took of one of their pups who is actually out in the cold. No, out cold. Like, oh, out, out cold. cold. <laughs> he must have been out at the, the dog cold. park. 
<laughs> he is one tired little pup. Cute. Well, to sign up for Buddy's Deals, just go to buddiesdeals.com and enter your email address. Today, save 50 to 90% on goods and services all over town. Make sure you go to our website, TucsonMorningBlend.com, and enter for our photo of the day. Just go to TucsonMorningBlend.com, click on the contest page, and tell us what's happening in the photo. And still ahead on the Morning Blend, we'll try our hand in a very interesting cookie decorating technique. Plus, a local screenwriter is here to talk about his new war movie and where you can catch a screening of it this weekend. That's right after the break.